Next question is from Sarah Gottfried. How does aging affect weight gain and metabolism? How much of an impact can resistance training have on this? So aging does affect both. Um, you tend to lose muscle as you age. Hormones start to change and men, testosterone starts to decline. Of course, women go through menopause, which is a huge uh, hormonal shift. Um, you lose strength. As a result of the weight loss, the muscle loss, your metabolism starts to slow down. Mm -hmm. Resistance training, how does it affect it? It, uh, it has a massive impact on all of this. Tremendous impact. In fact, as you age, the impact becomes bigger uh, for your body in, in the context of your age. And so what I mean by that is if I were to take two 20-year-olds, one being uh, fit who exercises every day and the other one being the typical 20-year-old who doesn't really exercise and just eats whatever, you would definitely notice a difference between the two. Mm -hmm. But if I were to take a 60-year-old, where one of them had been working out for years every single day and eating right, and the other one was the typical 60-year-old, the difference is profound. Night, night and day. Profound. Uh, the difference is now one person is fully functional, uh, totally independent, healthy, good vitality and libido, and the other one's ill on medications and has lost mobility. So as you age, resistance training, now you can't, you're not going to fight. It's like you can't live forever. You're mm, not going right. to stop the clock. But boy, do you make a big difference. And in comparison to your peers, it the gap gets so big as you age if you maintain a good well, level of fitness. I, yeah. I, I mean, I definitely think that uh, you know there's declining factors as you age for sure. But if you were to to actually like repeat the same patterns of healthy – uh, you know, practices, resistance training, eating uh, correctly from your 20s and carry that on a consistent basis all the way up, like I would be surprised to see it dip that much uh, versus, uh, you, you know, what just inevitably happens over time is we get consumed with other interests or, or you know, we have a family or we have, uh, you know, business or, yeah. you know, we're sitting a lot, like our patterns is what changes. Yeah. And then our patterns contribute to these declines uh, in hormones and and weight gain and things that you see. Well, not only that, this makes such a difference. And I guarantee you guys have had this because I've had this tons of times where I get a client at 40 or 50 who's never worked out before oh. and I get them training and dieting and they're with me for a year or two. And then the response I get from them is they are stronger, fitter and healthier at 50 than they were any other point in their life. Yep. So that's mm -hmm. how much that can affect you. Yep, I mean, yep. you guys are talking about, okay, someone yep. who's been training their whole life and comparing a 70-year-old who has and one that hasn't, yes. Nine, but it's so big of a difference as far as reversing aging exactly. that you yep. could take somebody who's never trained and been and then at 40 or 50 put them in the best shape of their mm -hmm. life at an advanced age than they were when they were a teenager. Totally. Mm-hmm. 